Yeah, thank you very much for your nice introduction. Um, also, hello from my side. Um, today, I want to explain something about optimizing safety with service. For that, I will start with our worldwide service network. You can see here our three main topics, preventative service with the inspection, maintenance, repairs and training. Also with the reactive service, Technicians on call, 24 hours, seven days, technical support. Um, the life cycle management with service contracts, retrofitting and spare parts. I will focus in the next slides a little bit um, for some of these topics and explain details of them. Starting with optimizing safety with trained maintenance personnel. Um, only with a good maintenance team, a good product maintenance can be done, of course. Um, with them, you have a safe condition of the brakes. Um, and this is, of course, of the success of that. Um, important with the maintenance or the interval inspections that you do on our products is like a pre-warning that you can see before a fault will happen. For example, a brake lining thickness or damaged parts of the levers or bushings and so on. Um, for that reason, we have a two-level support, um, or not a two-level support, a two-level training. Uh, the first level, uh, first level, sorry, the first level training is the brake basic and maintenance. Um, here we show the customer then the difference. Um, for example, must must haves to be done on the inspection or on the maintenance. And um, the second level, for example, is then like a break repair, break expert level, um, where we show them how to exchange the different wear parts, how to repair, and also, for example, how tools and what tools are needed. Um, both trainings are at the port side and split up to a theoretical part in a classroom and a practical part at the breaks directly at the crane. And at the end, uh, of course, you can also have a written exam and also with this certificate. Then optimizing safety with the monitoring systems. Jan Willem also explained this in his presentation before that we have different kinds of monitoring systems. So for example, here also the SP28.3 break with the CMB3. Um, so we monitor with our systems the different um, signals and also important signals and analyze them inside in our box. And if a value is out of the range, we will send an alarm and the fault to the CMS. Um, this warning or this fault will also show at the display from the CMB and also with the indicated red light on the top of the box. So it is very easy then for the maintenance people to come on the crane and see directly, okay, we have a red light now at the CMB. So we need to check something is not in a safe condition on the break. Then of course we have maintenance and service contracts. Um, we, the, the port can, for example, do this job, so maintenance and service shops, company external. That means that our Bubens engineers come to the port, inspect the brakes and the products, and also if needed, repair the brakes. A uh, minimum in this contracts, we have an annual inspection. Um, and then depending on the contracts, of course, more visits, um, more visits are possible. Um, also depending on the contract, um, the wear parts are included or warranty extensions after the visit as well. Um, the good point is we will optimize the maintenance time to reduce also the crane standstill time if we do the maintenance there. And also the good feeling is we have a face-to-face -face feeling then with the customers and we can also discuss then on site some open points, for example. <clears throat> um, alternative method is to repair the brakes in one of our repair centers, it means USA, Netherlands or Malaysia. We have at this moment this um, centers open. Um, there we overhaul the brakes to a new state and to be sure that all of the brakes are in a safe condition. So it means we will paint or repaint the protection paint. We change the parts. We make an intensive test procedure with protocol. And also we get a warranty of these brakes. Um, you can say the brake is after this overhaul like new. Um, this is also possible for brakes as older than 15 years, for example. Um, 
then our new technology um, because we saw by the COVID situation, like everybody in the world last year, that traveling was not possible anymore or not so easy like before. Um, but to be available and close to the customer, we introduced our augmented reality technology to have a close contact with the port. Um, with this class, with this classes, the port techniques, for example, can like a phone call our technical support office. We can see what the technicians can see at the breaks because there's a camera installed. Um, there's also a microphone like with noise cancellation to minimize the closed area sounds. Um, important, the worker can use both hands for the repair or adjustment shops. We can share documents, videos, or detailed information of the products like torque settings of the screws and so on, live directly at a small monitor at these classes. Uh, the best point is no travel time is needed anymore, means we have an ultra fast reaction time for support for the safeties. So and so on and so on. Um, we optimize the safety with full support. Um, we have a full um, a full support. Sorry, we have a um, full support with our worldwide service network. So we have globally a network of technicians and engineers and all time zones we are able to support. Um, all of them have an intensive in-house training, inclusive the exam, that we are sure that everybody is in the same knowledge. And that's from my side. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm happy for some questions.